last night was. Hold on, I need to go. So, um, we went to bed at like eight and everyone seemed fine. So we went to bed at eight and at nine o'clock, Lincoln woke up and was just bawling. And so I took care of her and we went back to bed and at 10 o'clock, Lincoln woke up and then we went back to bed and 11 o'clock Lincoln woke up and when she woke up that time, I, our room smelled weird and so I turned on the light and both of the dogs had gone to the bathroom in our room and like they had diarrhea and it was awful. And so I cleaned all that up and then I opened our windows and left that room and went and slept in our guest room and at midnight Lincoln woke up. So at that point I had only gotten like after cleaning up and taking care of Lincoln and everything, I was only asleep for like 10 minutes. And then at midnight when Lincoln woke up, I took care of her and she would not go back down. So from that point on, for the next six hours, she was up, but not just like up, up and crying. Just for six hours straight. It wasn't screaming crying, but it was just like fussing crying and just for six hours and finally at like 6 30 a.m i put her i went downstairs and i put her in her swing and she fell asleep but then of course today i have my postpartum OBGYN appointment and we have to wake up at 7 30 so i only got another hour after that so i spent all night trying to deal with lincoln all night letting the dogs in and out because they ate something and their stomachs were super upset and i Oh my gosh, like I've never understood the whole shaken baby syndrome, like why people do that. But last night I kind of got a glimpse at it where I wasn't angry, but I was just like so frustrated. And that was the first time since I've had her that I've like gotten frustrated with her crying. And it wasn't fun. I like just wanted to cry more than anything like I wasn't angry with her but I like just wanted to sit there and cry with her I was so tired and I was doing so much and I could not wait to go back to Utah this is so hard so I obviously also forgot my camera at the house because this morning was so hectic that I was like running out the door and I just went to my OBGYN appointment and I got there at like 8.20 and it is now 10 a.m. And that's why I hate this OBGYN and I'm glad I'm going back to Utah because they honestly take so long. And when I was pregnant, it sucked because I'm pregnant and I'm sitting there and I'm bored and I'm in pain. But with Lincoln, they like, when they put you in when they finally put you in the room, they ask you to undress from the waist down, and so I did, but then Lincoln started crying, and we were sitting there in there for like an hour, and I couldn't like help her because I was naked, and so I had to like go get dressed and then help her and like change her and feed her and all that, and then they came in and they're like, um, we told you to undress, and I was like, well, I had to take care of my child because you left me in here for an hour. And then I finally got around to my appointment, it only took like 10 minutes, and then I gotta leave. But that wait time is ridiculous there. You have to wait forever in the waiting room, and then forever for your doctor to get there, and then your appointment is so fast, but the waiting sucks. Oh, are you being so sweet? Hi! Oh, you're not being sweet anymore? Oh, all the dogs came to say hi once they heard that go on. Come here, Lincoln. Hi. Huck. No. Hi. You're the happiest, smiliest baby in the world until I start filming you. The whole world's gonna think you're grumpy. You gonna be grumpy gills? Grumpy gills. Grumpy gills. Whatever. So we have been inside. Oh, you start smiling the second I turned the camera away. You're so lame. So uh, we got home from the OBGYN and crashed. Well, tried to crash. Lincoln fell asleep only for another like 30 minutes. And so I slept for 30 minutes and then she was up. And then I decided to try to give her some Tylenol, some baby Tylenol to see if maybe she was in pain. 
and she was out after that. Like, the second I gave her Tylenol, she fell asleep for, like, two and a half hours, and so we got to sleep for two and a half hours. So whatever is wrong with her, gas drops do nothing, and gripe water does nothing, but it's obviously causing her pain because Tylenol immediately put her to sleep. So I'm going to have to talk to her doctor and see what we can do because I can't just give her Tylenol all the time. But obviously the gripe water and the gas drops are doing nothing. <gasps> There's Smile. Hi. <gasps> There's, oh, it was there for a second. Oh. <gasps> Yay. Happy baby. And now we are up and hanging out, I guess. There's a hurricane Joaquin that's supposed to come hit North Carolina on Saturday or Sunday so that'll be interesting my mom texted me today and was like make sure you have food and water but I always have water I have so many reusable water bottles and then Lincoln's on breast milk the dogs don't need anything oh he being so sweet so get ready for your first hurricane baby we should have given you the middle name of Hurricane. Lincoln Hurricane Blackwell there. They're all too boyish. Sorry, you can't have it. So, um, Bella refuses to go out in the rain. Like, she does not like the rain. And since it's been raining all week, this is what she does on our porch. And that's really annoying. But it kind of, it really sucks because it's only going to keep raining because I guess a hurricane's coming, which is kind of scary. But she like won't even come outside sometimes. She goes outside like maybe once a day and I have to force her out usually. And so it's going to be a rough weekend waiting for this hurricane to pass. Lincoln is officially going through her first growth spurt. Um, she eats probably every hour and oh hey Huck yep that's camera and it's exhausting um, I definitely don't produce enough to keep up with it so she's on a little bit of Pedialyte because she herself felt was getting a little low and she has formula every once in a while when I don't produce enough so it's been a rough couple days I called my doctor and they said that's probably what's wrong with her why she's freaking out so much why she's so fussy is just because I feed her every two hours, but she needs to eat every hour because she's going through her growth spurt. So hopefully if I keep up this feeding schedule, she'll sleep better. But in the middle of the night, it still sucks because she will wake up every hour in the middle of the night. Huck, if you step on her, I'm returning you to the store. Don't eat my hand either. So that's awesome. It kind of lets me know what's happening. And <clears throat> so that's good news. She's drinking some Pedialyte right now, and then I have some milk right there to feed her. And also, um, for like the past three years, I've been wanting to watch Parks and Rec because it's along the same style as The Office, and The Office is like my favorite show. But every time I watch Parks and Rec, I didn't really like it. And I just decided to binge watch it on Netflix, and I watched all six seasons, and I love it. And of course, it's over, but then I just went on Hulu and realized they had a goodbye season. So there's one more season of Parks and Rec I get to watch. If that'll ever focus there it goes and I am so excited because I just got super into the show and then I finished it and it's sad because it's over so it's not like I can go watch it on TV so I was just researching how to help her get on a better schedule with like sleeping and eating and so I'm gonna feed her and give her a bath and kind of start doing her nighttime routine and then I'm gonna try some of the things they told me and then if it works in tomorrow's vlog, I'll mention them and say if they work or not. But right now we're gonna do her bedtime routine and give her a quick bath. And then we're going to bed. So, good night. Oh wait, do you wanna say good night? Oh, you're just dead asleep. <gasps> good night. I went and got the dog some rawhide bones. And ever since we got Huck, this is what Bella does every time we get her a bone. What are you doing? She uh, will grab it, sit in a common area that Huck passes by frequently, and set it far enough away from her that Huck's, Huck thinks he could probably go grab it, but close enough to it that if he walks near it, she can bite him. And she'll sit there for hours and weeks. Like, sometimes that bone will sit there for over a week. 